Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me on another episode of Supreme Commander 2. As you may have noticed, I have been away for a while. One of the reasons that I was away was because I was doing a quote-unquote perfection of my mod. I have fixed just about every known issue with my mod. This includes unit textures and icons. This unit now has an icon. All of them do. Custom icons if I select a land gantry. And here is my experimental mobile shield. Its textures have been fixed. I will put a reference to one of my older videos where I showed every unit that I have created so far. And you will see its textures were horrible compared to how they are now. The same can be said for the UEF barrier, a naval shield. Now it looks just fine, however previously, the textures were a mess. Also, the Illuminate Constructor, its textures were horrible as well. The anti-artillery textures were not perfect, but they didn't look horrible. I have just fixed textures for every single unit, and I have done bug fixes for every unit. One issue that I had was pod units. When the base structure unit was captured, the pod would not be captured as well. But of course that has since been fixed. So for every unit in my mod, I have been doing much needed bug fixes, creating icons, and fixing textures. There are still a few bugs that I don't quite know how to fix yet. Such as this jump jet on one of my C units, it doesn't play in animation. I have fixed just about every bug that I know of. This took a long time, and it was very important for me to do this, so I decided that I would focus all of my time and energy on fixing my mod. That is why I haven't uploaded in a while. I have also fixed units with treads so that you could select the second unit, the unit that's on top with the actual weapons, so you could get greater control of the weapons. For my illusion at hologram defense unit, I have made the holograms look much more like hologram units. I'm actually using the hunker shield texture, and it looks so much better than it did before. It also is transparent, which is perfect, just what I want. Some units like this one here, I actually have not fixed the textures for. It looks fine enough as it is, and if I were to fix the textures, it would make the file size much bigger. I don't want to show off all of the changes that I have made, because you get the idea from what I have shown, and to show everything would make this a very long video. As I have been away for a while, I want to make up some of the videos. And also while I was away, I have spent time working on a very, very complicated unit that is now done, but for information on said unit, you'll just have to wait until its video comes out, which will be very soon. So in the meantime, thank you all so much for joining me on this epic. So for the meantime, thank you all so much for joining me on this episode of Supreme Commander 2. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will hopefully see you in my next video. So, if I will, see you there, I'll be waiting.